Good morning guys. We got a little job on today. I'm helping a mate out and I'm removing some bees from a wine barrel. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I haven't done this before. I've got a, a rough idea on how to go about it, whether it works or not. We're soon going to find out. Preferably we won't do any damage to the wine barrel. Um, I'm going to spin the uh, camera around and show you what I've done so far, what I'm going to do, and let's see if it works. Right, so here's the barrel. As you can see, got a few bees. Now, there's not many there because I've got the bee, the bee barrel over by my bee shed, which is that 40 foot container there. What I've done is I moved it over here about half an hour ago. It used to be over here. Excuse my bumping. Behind the uh, log splitter. You can see the dead patch on the ground where it's been sitting for a week or so. And what I've done is I put a, um, a box in place of it with some uh, Swarm Commander sprayed in and on the front. And what I'm hoping is that the bees that leave to forage with it over by my container will come back to the old location which is here and hang around inside this box. And so far, yeah, we'll see. They're obviously very confused. But um, that's the plan because these will be the, the cranky er bees. We can keep them away from the project, we're going to be a lot better off. So while we keep them busy over there, hopefully we've just got the home bees and the nurse bees in here. And the nurse bees, of course, are a lot better or a lot more well behaved. Now the plan is to take the top two rings off and see what kind of flex we get. If we don't get enough to pop the lid out, we'll have to take off the third ring. That will only leave the bottom three rings. I'm a bit worried about, because this is a true wine barrel, I'm a bit worried about it just sort of dropping like a, a deck of cards. But what I'm going to do is put a piece of wood across here to fix these pieces together and to give me a bit of a handle to lift. Now, we believe the bees are hanging on the bottom of this, which would make perfect sense, of course. So what we're going to do is lift this up, turn it over very carefully, lay it on top of here, and then proceed with the extraction. The original idea was to, not mine, was to cut this out. But that'll destroy the barrel, and I don't want to do that. It's a very nice old barrel. These things aren't easy to find these days. So we'll spend a little bit of extra time and try and do a good job. Anyway, I'll put the camera in the holder and we'll get on with it. Now there probably won't be a lot of uh, a lot of my talking during this. I'm just going to get in and uh, and give it a go. So we'll see what happens. Be back in a minute. Yeah. Now since these aren't my bees, I'm gonna well, I'm not gonna rug up, but I'm going to uh, put a veil on anyway, and we'll see what happens. A little bit of smoke. And now we make them cranky.
can reuse those again. First one. Well, we're starting to get a bit of spring. Not enough though. We'll have to take off that third ring. What worries me is the lid falling down. So we'll put a protection on. You can see that gaps have started to appear, and there is a little bit of flex. I'm hoping I won't have to take the. Yeah, there's quite a bit coming out. I don't want to bring this all the way up to here, I just want to bring it up enough to get enough flex. Now loose. See what we can do. Okay. Put the spring back down to reduce the sprawling it back up. It'll piss the bees off no end, but I said I'll do my best to save the barrel. See that? That is freaking awesome. A couple of little bits of comb did fall off, but they're empty by the end of it. So we'll, uh, we'll just leave that there for the moment.
This is beautiful. I love these natural natural combs. As I do each one, I'm going to take it over and put it in that hive I showed you earlier, because that'll be their new, their new home. They're very well behaved bees. Like. Beautiful, beautiful. Egg. I might get a queen clip actually, in case I want Her Majesty. Queen clip. This isn't to keep control of the queen, this is to actually protect her so I don't hurt her while I'm doing the transition. So hopefully I find her. Let's see what happens. Beautiful bees. These are going to be very nice in the apiary. Let's check for the queen. Don't want to squish her. Oh god, the stuff's so soft. Oops, I've gone here. Get all rubby bands. There's no truck for these. So looking good so far. Right. Oh, there's Mama. Oh, she's beautiful, too. 
hopefully this flipping thing will autofocus. There she is. See? Hopefully it's focusing. I can't see the screen. There she is. Right there. Beautiful she is. So I'll take her straight over. They're ready to go. We'll just transition this comb out as they uh, finish using it. See, there's quite a bit of brood. Very little food, which is interesting, but there's, a, there's quite a bit of brood. Anyway. I wouldn't have needed a, uh, a veil. Whoa, this comb's very soft. Yeah, I was saying I wouldn't, need a, wouldn't have needed a veil with these bees. They haven't come up and bumped me once. They are awesome. These will be taking pride of place in the apiary, I tell you. I don't know. I'm not sure where this barrel came from, but boy, crikey, I wouldn't mind putting a catch hive out there. Let's see if we can take some of these. There's another lot. Let's see if we can take some more of these bees over. Hi. It was done before this all falls over. It's going to go the other way now. Lucky I didn't wait another couple of weeks to get this done. It would have been. Uh, more soft.
got that like that. I think it edges of the comb to the edge. I'll just draw that down and turn that into one frame. That's the last of the comb. And now we just got to get the bees over there. And they're pretty cool, so it shouldn't be too hard. Take those ones. Okay, and you can see where the comb was. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A couple of them fell off in the drum. There's a little bit of pollen, but there's no eggs in there, so we'll melt that bit down. There's not many left. They're mainly just. Uh, nurse bees. So what I'll do is I'll leave that open like that tonight. They'll probably go down and cluster on the comb in the bottom and I'll transfer them over this evening. I'll go and put these ones in and then I'll take you over and have a look at the hive. Now you'll be able to see it was attached to the top of the barrel, but it was also attached on the side using brace comb. That's why it didn't fall off when we moved the barrel. Only when I tried to take the lid off, there's two little bits down there.
Uh, this is um, this is wonky comb anyway. It's got a bit of no eggs or anything that I can see, and it's got some mold on it. So we'll melt that lot down. But I'll leave it here as a trap for not a trap, but as a uh, a bait for them to sit on tonight. And we'll come back and get the remainder. Except it's going to be hot today. I'll just move it into the shade a little bit. All right, come and have a look at the hive. So here's the hive that I've been transferring everything into. As you can see, they're still a little bit, a little bit confused. Well, they'll get used to it. They're getting in there now, and they've, they've found their queen, so they know everything's everything's okay. They're looking after her very well. I'll, um, I'll release her later on tonight when I've finished mucking around with the hive. I don't want to squish her between any frames. She'll be as safe as houses in there. And then tomorrow morning, I'll relocate this hive out to one of the outyards because if I try and if I try and put it down into the house apiary, they'll just come back to this location here. Anyway, it worked. So I don't know if you learned anything, but if you did, cool. If not, yeah, well, well. Hope you enjoyed watching. Have a good one, guys. See ya.